Hey y'all. So I'm here next to, let's see if I can get it, this. And a lot of people have commented on this in other videos. And this is something that Hubby B had made for me. Y'all remember my cat, Coco. And I look like hammer damn it because I cried in another video. But y'all remember my cat, Coco, that I have. If you've been around for a while, you know about Coco. And Coco went on across that rainbow bridge. But uh, I had Coco for a really long time. She was a um, calico cat. She was a rescue from my office. And um, I brought her home and had her for a really long time. And um, when we, Hubby B and I got dogs, um, we couldn't leave her food on the ground. So we would put it up on this refrigerator, not this refrigerator, but you know, the refrigerator. And that's where she would eat her food because otherwise the dogs would eat it. And she loved sitting on top of this refrigerator. So when Hubby B uh, had this made for me, we added a clock. And yes, that's four o'clock. And right here is her cocoa cat bowl. And I've had a lot of people ask me what that is. Well, Coco, smartest cat ever, knew when it was four o'clock. And if she did not have food in that bowl, she would knock it off the refrigerator to tell me it was four o'clock and it was time to eat. And I don't know how Coco knew, but she knew 4 a.m. She knew 4 p.m. She would knock it off. We'd be in the bed and we'd hear it. And this is almost life size. <laughs> Coco was a big girl, but uh, she liked to eat. So every day at four o'clock, if Coco did not have food, her bowl was sailing off of the refrigerator. And it's funny because one time I was on the phone on a work call and I'd get off at four and it was after four o'clock and Coco came in, jumped up on the thing, or we had uh, steps for her to get up to it because it was a little taller, but we had steps for her. And uh, so she climbed up and her cat food bowl was empty and she knocks it off. And my coworker on the phone was like, what is that? I said, what time is it? She said, three o'clock. Well, she was in central time zone. I'm in Eastern. And she's like, I said, okay, it's four. That's Coco telling me it's time to eat. So that's what this is for. And I love having it in here because it just makes me keep Coco in front of my mind. And I love that cat. I miss that cat. She was with me and... In a really sad time in my life, she was there. So anyway, that's what it's for. Bye, y'all.